Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own natural shampoo. So for me, this journey started about the beginning of this year. I was looking for something more natural to use in my hair because I'd heard about all the chemicals and nasty additives that, be, that are put into shampoos and things to keep your hair looking clean. So I started looking for some natural alternatives to use to wash my hair. Now, at first I did the whole baking soda and apple cider vinegar where I'd wash my hair with baking soda and water. Then I'd use apple cider vinegar as like a rinse. But for me, it just didn't work very well. My hair was still oily. It didn't really feel soft and luscious like it used to be before when I was using normal conventional shampoo. So I kept looking. I was like, all right, I gave it a go. I'll give. I'll, I'll start looking for something else. So then I start. I came across some shampoo bars, some so, like shampoo soap bars, which you'd use to like scrub your hair, and they were all natural. So I was like, okay, I'll give these a whirl. I'll see how they go. So I used that to wash my hair, but again the same thing happened, my hair was still oily, it didn't look like I'd even cleaned it, and it left like a clay kind of residue in my hair, and it wouldn't come out no matter how hard I scrubbed my hair, it just wouldn't go. So I was like, oh, there must be something that I can use. So I kept looking and looking, and then I came across this recipe. So, and I gave it a go, and it actually worked really well for my hair. So I'm proud to say that I've finally found a recipe that actually works well. So today I'm going to show you what that is, and how to use it. So what you'll need for this recipe is some coconut milk. I'm going to use some homemade coconut milk, because it's just fresh, I just made it. I'll link in the cards above, or in the description below, one of the two, the video of how I made the coconut milk. So you're going to need coconut milk, you can use store-bought coconut milk, but a lot of people say that the homemade version actually works better for, for your hair. It just gives it a better clean. You're also going to need some Castile oil, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll link all this in the description below, all the products to use. Um, you're going to use some essential oils. I'm going to use lavender and peppermint oil, but you can also use orange and rosemary, which are a great combo as well. And if you get really dry hair, you can also use some almond oil. This can just help to give it a bit more moisture. But if you don't get really dry hair, then don't worry about that one. And then you're going to need a jar or old shampoo bottle. You can use even the um, dispenser ones. They work really well as well to pop all the shampoo ingredients in. So you're going to start off with by pouring a quarter of a cup of coconut milk, you can use the canned version or the homemade version, into a glass jar and then you're going to add a quarter of a cup of the liquid Castile soap and 20 drops of the essential oils of your choosing. So you can use the peppermint lavender version, the rosemary orange version or any other type you like to use. And then if you have dry hair you're going to add in the almond oil. Then you're going to shake it well to mix it all together and then all you need to do is just pop it in the shower for when you need to use it. It'll keep well for up to a month, just ensure but that before each use that you shake it really well to combine all the ingredients because sometimes they do tend to separate. When you want to use it, use about one teaspoon each time you shampoo. Now some people have found that using a mixture of equal parts water and apple cider vinegar as a rinse afterwards can help increase their hair shine and make their, their hair a little bit cleaner afterwards. But just adjust it to your hair type and how it suits you. So just make sure that when you do use the shampoo that you're scrubbing it in really well to ensure that it reaches your scalp to ensure that you get as much clean as possible. And there you have it guys, your very own homemade natural shampoo. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to join our tribe, feel free to subscribe down below in the corner. Otherwise, have an amazing day, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.